Have you heard about taking a baby aspirin during pregnancy and wondered if it's right for you? Maybe you're curious about how it works, who should take it, or if it could benefit your pregnancy. Well, today I'm breaking down everything you need to know about taking a baby aspirin or a low dose aspirin. I'll talk about what it does, who it's recommended for, and how it might help prevent certain complications for certain pregnancies. So if you wanna feel fully informed about what it is to take a low dose aspirin in pregnancy, go ahead and stick around. Hi everyone, and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I'm Dr. Christina Pinnock, a board certified OBGYN and high-risk pregnancy doctor, passionate about helping you to have a healthy and enjoyable pregnancy. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you enjoy my videos. And if you find my pregnancy tips helpful, sign up for my weekly newsletter at healthypregnancyafter30.com. All right, so today's topic is a really important one, especially if you're navigating a higher risk pregnancy. So whether or not you should be on a low dose aspirin is a really good question and something that we're gonna explore today. But to start, let's break down what we mean by low dose aspirin or a baby aspirin. Unlike regular aspirin, which is usually around 325 milligrams in each pill, low dose aspirin or a baby aspirin is much lower in the dosage, typically around 81 milligrams. This is also known as a baby aspirin because it's small enough to target specific tissues in the body without affecting the blood and the body in the way that the higher 325 milligram dose does. Specifically in pregnancy, a baby aspirin doesn't act as a pain reliever to take away any aches and pains, but instead it prevents certain complications related to blood flow with pregnancy. So the way the baby aspirin does this is by it lowers the risk of having problems related to blood flow, which is what we're really concerned about when we think about conditions like preeclampsia. But to really understand the purpose of a baby aspirin, let's just take a moment to talk about preeclampsia and what it is. Preeclampsia is a specific condition that's related to pregnancy that usually develops after 20 weeks. With this condition, you can have high blood pressures in pregnancy, as well as a high amount of protein in your urine, or you can even have problems with different organs in the body. So this can include issues with organs like your kidneys, your liver, and sometimes even the brain. And preeclampsia can actually develop really, really quickly and affect both the mom's health as well as the baby's health. And the most challenging part about preeclampsia is like while we can manage preeclampsia once it's diagnosed, we don't really have a cure for preeclampsia except to deliver the baby in order to deliver the placenta. And since preeclampsia can potentially cause pretty serious problems, including early delivery and organ damage for moms and even seizures for some women, we really, really look for a lot of things to help us prevent preeclampsia. Low-dose aspirin has emerged as one of the most important and effective strategies that we have to prevent preeclampsia. And that's especially true for those women who are at a higher risk of having preeclampsia in pregnancy. How exactly does a baby aspirin work to prevent preeclampsia? Well, the aspirin actually affects certain chemicals in the blood. Primarily works on two main chemicals that we think are really important in relation to preeclampsia. So the first thing is it lowers the levels of this specific chemical in the blood called thromboxane, which essentially causes your blood vessels to squeeze together tightly and even can cause some blood vessels to have clots in them. On the other hand, the baby aspirin helps this other chemical called prostacycline, and this chemical actually prevents blood clotting and opens up your blood vessels to allow for more blood flow. So by doing this, the baby aspirin lowers the thromboxane, which causes your blood vessels to squeeze, and increases the prostacycline, which allows more blood flow. And so that essentially helps to maintain better blood flow in the placenta. Now, the improved blood flow in the placenta can help to prevent preeclampsia and issues related to preeclampsia, like babies being too small or babies being born early. And it's also been found to help with inflammation. So taking a baby aspirin is a great strategy that we have to help to prevent preeclampsia from developing. Now we've looked at the effects of taking a baby aspirin in a lot of different studies, and we found many research studies that support the use of the baby aspirin to lower the chances of some women getting preeclampsia. I'm just gonna briefly touch on two of these studies that help to support the evidence that we have. The first is a study that looked at over 40,000 pregnant women and showed a lower chance of having preeclampsia, early delivery, or even a smaller baby 
for women who took a baby aspirin. They found that for every 1,000 women that we treated with the aspirin, there were 16 fewer cases of preeclampsia and 20 fewer cases of complications with either baby or mom. Now, that may not sound like a lot, but on a population level, it really, really does add up to helping to improve outcomes for many moms and many babies. Another study that looked at the impact of a baby aspirin in helping lower the chances of having preeclampsia is a study called the ASPIRE trial. And this study found that women who had a higher risk of having preeclampsia but started aspirin between 11 and 13 weeks of pregnancy actually had a 62% lower chance of having preeclampsia before 37 weeks of pregnancy. Now, in this study, they did take a slightly higher dose of an aspirin of around 150 milligrams. However, in the U.S., we generally recommend using an 81 milligram dose. These studies and many other ones give us a solid foundation for recommending taking a low-dose aspirin in specific cases for pregnancy, especially for women who have an elevated risk of having preeclampsia or having an early delivery because of problems with the placenta or preeclampsia. Who exactly should consider taking a low-dose aspirin in pregnancy? Well, generally, we look at two different groups when we think about who would really benefit from taking a baby aspirin in pregnancy. First group are those with higher risk factors that can make it more likely for them to develop preeclampsia. And the second group have more moderate risk factors that still put them at a higher risk of developing preeclampsia but maybe not as high as the first group. So when we think about the high risk factors for developing preeclampsia, this would include having any medical problems like high blood pressure before pregnancy, problems with your kidneys, having diabetes before pregnancy, or having any autoimmune conditions like lupus before pregnancy. In addition to that, if you've had preeclampsia in a previous pregnancy, then it does put you at a higher risk of developing preeclampsia again, and so that would be considered a higher risk factor. Now, the second group would be considered to have moderate risk factors. If you're having a baby for the first time, if you're carrying extra weight and are considered to be obese, if you have a family history of having preeclampsia, or if you're having the baby over the age of 35, these different risk factors can slightly increase your chances of developing preeclampsia, but not as much as the first group. In the first group, for any high-risk patients, if you have any one of those factors, we strongly would recommend taking a low-dose aspirin to prevent preeclampsia, whereas the moderate risk group would need to be evaluated to see if they have two or more of those factors to see if they would qualify to take a baby aspirin in pregnancy to lower the chances of developing preeclampsia. Once I do recommend a baby aspirin in pregnancy, I oftentimes get questions about some of the logistics of taking a baby aspirin in pregnancy. And one of those questions is when to start taking the aspirin. Generally, you wanna start taking the low-dose aspirin at around 12 to 16 weeks in pregnancy and then you want to continue taking it every day in pregnancy until your baby's born. There hasn't been any strong evidence that supports that taking a baby aspirin in pregnancy would lead to more bleeding at the time of delivering your baby, so we do not generally recommend stopping the baby aspirin earlier in the pregnancy than around when you're delivering baby. One thing that I did want to mention is that it's important to note that you should never self-describe a low dose aspirin in pregnancy. You should always consult with your OB provider or your OB doctor as a baby aspirin isn't necessarily appropriate for everyone in pregnancy, especially those with any bleeding disorders or allergies or other conditions in pregnancy, it may not be recommended for you to take a baby aspirin. Now, another common question that I get about taking a baby aspirin in pregnancy is whether there are any potential side effects of taking this medication. Now, in general, a low-dose aspirin is very safe for both mom and baby when you take it as directed by your healthcare provider. Um, there are some women who may experience some mild side effects like upset stomach, um, which can generally be managed by taking the aspirin with food. For those who have other conditions like bleeding conditions or medical conditions or even allergies to aspirin, and then you wouldn't be recommended to take that based on the evaluation of your provider. This just highlights the importance of talking with your OB provider before starting any new medications in pregnancy, including this one. Another important thing to note is that we haven't found in any of our studies that there has been any increased risk of having a miscarriage, any birth defects, or any bleeding problems with babies 
for moms who take a baby aspirin. But overall, since the baby aspirin is so safe, it makes it a great option for preventing preeclampsia for many women who qualify for this medication. Summing it up, should you be on a low dose aspirin? Well, it really depends. If you're in one of those higher risk categories for preeclampsia, then definitely taking a low dose aspirin is gonna be a valuable tool for you, but you always wanna check in with your doctor to double check. If you're in one of the moderate risk groups, then you'll need two or more of those risk factors as directed by your doctor to see if you would qualify for taking a baby aspirin. Again, this is a decision that should always be made with your healthcare provider and everyone's situation's unique, but this is just to give you an overview of really who would qualify for taking a baby aspirin so you can bring up this conversation with your OB provider. Well, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope this has helped answer some of your questions about taking a low dose aspirin in pregnancy. And if you found this helpful, please go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any new videos. And if you have any questions or comments about this video, go ahead and leave it down below. And lastly, if you've been enjoying my pregnancy tips, go ahead and check out my newsletter at healthypregnancyafter30.com for weekly pregnancy tips right to your inbox. All right, take care.